Welcome to another Safish Airs app podcast and this time around we want to show you some nice uh, photo application under Safish Airs called Photo or Photo. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this but this one is something you can, that, you, that you can find on the Yola store and you can give it a thumbs up if you like this. It's a nice app. If you open it up for the first time it will show you and tell you everything that you need to know. Uh, it's basically a gallery app, a gallery replacement app with lots and lots of features. You can see I have some uh, photos in here, some video files even, just like for example this video file here. I can click on it, it will give me a preview and if I click on it again it will for example play this video back and have the option to stop, go back. Uh, you can see I see here my um, uh, preview and I see um, thumbs of the next images I can go back uh, go, go back forth. I can also swipe to go back and forth as you can see here. And of course uh, I can go in here and slide around to go to my favorite picture. For example this one here, if it loads or not. Let's load another one. This one seems not to load, strange. Uh, but you can see that it works pretty, pretty nice, pretty, pretty fine. What you can go, uh, of course, you can also go into the um, big version. As you can see, you have the pinch to zoom option here. Uh, long press to go back, which uh, is pretty nice. And of course, you have some other options. What's this here? Not sure. Uh, but you can zoom in, you can uh, go back with long press and you have some other options. If you swipe down you can go back to the list or you can edit this file which is pretty nice. It can go to details and edit basically. So this means that you have the option to add a comment to this file. You can add tags. So if you want to sort your images by tags, this is very important if you have if you if you're using your smartphone for doing lots and lots of picture work, uh tagging them by events just like for example Christmas or Easter is pretty nice uh, that you have these options in here. You can see the metadata of this file in this case the file uh, is very big as you can see uh, the ISO the flash of the flash was used um, especially useful for images taken by um, a camera or your uh, smartphone itself and you have them, some tools to just simply edit this uh, picture just like for example I can edit the contrast of this picture so it will just simply load this picture and I can swipe between preview the orig original and the um, And the one with the added contrast, as you can see here, contrast plus one, plus two, and so on. As you can see, the the image changes. Uh, let me go back. I don't want to save this. I have the exposition, so I think I can just simply change the exposure here of the image with the same uh, with the same way, but in this case only exposition one, and that's that's all. And I can change the color if I'd like to. Uh, as you can see, it's it's not the best, but still, in this case, I don't know what to do. Uh -huh, color plus one, plus two, and so on. So you can change various things here, edit your photos uh, very easily. The tools, I think, need some uh, work done. It's still an early uh, version uh, of the tools, but uh, I think it's a very good start. Uh, I can remove the image, I can see some options, uh, basic options for the whole um, application itself. And as you can see here, I have some various different uh, options in here. Ignore this message. <laughs> uh, various different options in there. And uh, you can see I have the option to just simply show the thumbnails, uh, show frames per row. Uh, on press uh, it should show the slideshow. I uh, can change the uh, frames color if I'd like to, on hold, uh, go to a previous page when I'm in slideshow uh, and when I'm in picture full screen, the zoom levels, I can adjust them, so make them bigger if I'd like to uh, zoom in a little bit more. I uh, have the on press action that I can set here. You can see there are various different options that you can set in here, which is pretty nice um, for photo editor, for a photo um, management tool basically. And if I want to go back to the list, I can do so as well. 
as you can see here and uh, of course I have the option to just simply long press on one photo and then set the tag, see or play, move the file around if I'd like to or remove the file even if I'd like to. So very, very uh, feature rich application. I can swipe to the right to see my tags. In this case I don't have a tag but if I had added some tags I can see uh, various different tags and of course preview pictures of images that are assigned to this tag as well and I can create new tags and have uh, the options as well here. So a very nice very good uh, application. Um, not sure if there is slideshow available. Would be nice wouldn't it be? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Full screen playback video and I think this is something they have to add. Um, a slideshow would be pretty nice so you don't have to scroll around in here. Um, but this is a very nice application called Photo and I think uh, there, are, oh, there are some uh, interesting um, options as well. You can use the volume keys to just simply make the uh, thumbnail smaller so to show more or make them bigger as you can see here, I can make him even this big if I'd like to. This is the default, I think, which is sane. And of course, I have some other options in here, like zooming in. Uh, so basically the same that I can do with the volume keys. And I can have some filter options in here. So I can filter uh, my files. Uh, as you can see here, also very advanced filtering options uh, according to media. Only pictures, for example, I don't want any videos and I can filter them by date, uh, starting and end date, which is pretty nice if I want to, if I really have a big uh, hunk uh, bunch of image images on my phone, I can simply use them. Oh, there's a slideshow option, so I knew that there was slideshow. And I'm not sure what the, uh, maybe this is a manual slideshow only. So you don't have the uh, have have a timer to go to play this automatically. Maybe I'm missing something, but uh, basically this is uh, a very nice application. And um, select four, what's that? Oh, I can select even images to tag them. So if I have various different images, like for example wallpaper images, I can tag them and put them together in a wallpaper uh, tag which is also pretty nice. Oh, what a nice application, really, really nice application. So it's called Photo or Futo, uh, just uh, like you want to pronounce it and very nice application. Go to the Yola store, give it a thumbs up if you like this application and uh, this is everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.